Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Thanks for joining me again today. I'm Justin Davis and I have something new again here today for the beginners. This is the QX95 FPV racing drone. It comes with a fly sky transmitter that's already hooked up to clean flight. Everything is set up on here so you don't have to hook it up to your computer and do any configuration on here or any screwing around. You actually can just charge up a battery on here and you can go out and fly, which is really nice. They already have a label on here with all your modes and how to arm it. You have angle mode and horizon mode set up on here, so it's perfect for the beginner. You don't have full rate mode, which is acro mode, which means no stabilization setup right out of the box. Uh, so that's really nice for beginners. Now there's a lot of great features that are packed into this one, and I'll go over those with you, but the coolest thing about it is that compared to something like a Tiny Whoop, you're going to get about five minutes flight time with this one, and you can fly it outdoors or indoors because in stability mode, it's mild enough to fly it inside and cruise around your own house. Uh, and you can do gates and stuff like that inside uh, or outside. You can do some big maneuver freestyle type stuff and do some flips and rolls if you want to get into a little bit of horizon mode later. Now, if you're new to this angle mode, in clean flight, simply full stabilization. If you push the stick full forward, it's only gonna tilt so much, it's not gonna flip over on you and hit the ground. Uh, you'll control your throttle management, of course, as you're flying up and down. And horizon mode lets you go all the way out to the edge of the stick here, and when you get to a certain point, it's gonna flip and roll for you. When you come out of that flip, it's gonna go back into sort of a stabilized mode for you. So that's pretty cool that this one comes set up like that. Now, some of my favorite things about this quad is the fact that this is 3K carbon fiber, and the 3K carbon fiber has been something that they've used on bigger quads, larger style race quads, and this one is nice because it's tiny and it has that larger, tougher, more durable carbon fiber. This isn't the cheap stuff, guys, so that's actually pretty nice. Now, one caveat that I did notice about it is that when I first pulled it up, my prop right here was hitting this antenna, so I had to move this antenna back just a little bit and kind of angle it off to the side, but that's not a big problem. Now, another cool thing about this one is, is that it has 10 millimeter motors on here, and if you know anything about brushed motors, those are pretty peppy for brushed motors. There's a big difference between brushed motors and something like a brushless motor. Here's an example of a, a brushless motor sitting next to it. A little wider, but this is an 1104, 4000 kV that came along with this quad. Uh, and the difference, if you're new to this, is that this one has magnets and sort of copper coils inside here that the bell rotates around. So these are usually about five times more powerful, but that doesn't make a real big difference with this quad because it's so light and it's really, really fast outdoors, as you'll see in my flight test coming up. So let's talk about some more specifics about this frame and what makes this one so cool uh, for the price. Now we're looking at these motors a little bit closer up and those are 8520 coreless brushed motors and uh, they might be uh, what we consider eight millimeter. I usually round them up to 10 millimeter just because uh, I, I'm, I'm weird like that. But now the frame itself, the really cool thing about it is that it does have bumper guards on here, but I always tell guys that get these to go to Home Depot. If you look at the very bottom of the motor here, these wires are sticking out on the bottom. Go to Home Depot, get yourself some liquid tape and put some liquid, brush some of that liquid tape on here. It's kind of like rubber cement that hardens into a hard rubber and it'll protect these cables coming down the arm. Just put a little dab on each motor bottom, on each bottom of the motor base. So that way, when you come in for a landing, that these little wires don't get severed. So that's pretty important. Now on the side here, you can see the receiver up inside here. That's the Fly Sky receiver and it has a little black antenna coming out the back here. It's not in any danger of getting hit by the props because it's actually pretty short. Uh, your video, by the way, is running on 5.8 gigahertz and your transmitter is transmitting on 2.4. Now, what's really cool about this frame too, if you look from the side here, see this little black box right there? That is a beeper and that's super cool because if you lose your quad out in a field, some tall grass, you have a little switch on your transmitter, you just flip that switch and it immediately starts beeping. You can walk right up to it and find it so you don't lose it in the field. So that's really, really nice. Now, if you're watching this video and you would like to fly this quad, but you don't really want to buy a Fly Sky transmitter like this one back here along with it, you can actually get this bind and fly. So you can fly it with your Tyrannus Plus, uh, something with an FR Sky receiver on it. And I'll put that link below for you guys that have Tyrannus Plus. 
Now the flight controller on here is an SP Racing F3 Evo uh, brushed edition. So you can go into clean flight and you can hook this up with the USB cable in the very back. It's kind of tight against this back post right here. You don't have to remove it. I was able to get my little USB cable like this one right up next to that last post back there and hook it up to clean flight. If you're new to this and you don't know what clean flight is, Go to the Chrome Web Store. You want to download Clean Flight in the Chrome Web Store, install the drivers, and then you can use it on Mac or PC, which is pretty cool. Now, I told you that that video was running on 5.8, so it's also running 25 milliwatt, which is a close in, close proximity kind of flyer. Uh, not gonna get a lot of range out of this one. If you had asked me what the range was, I'd say about a football field. Um, not super, super far. So uh, the receiver will probably go further than the video will. So you're also getting 520 TVL on there, and that's not too bad. A switchable between PAL and NTSC, and it has an operating voltage of 3.5 uh, to 4.5 volts on this quad. So that's what typically what 1S is. And I'll show you the rest of the stuff that comes along with this. It comes with a little B3 Pro compact charger and that'll charge one to 3S batteries. So you have a little 3S port on this side. If you have 3S batteries for other race quads, you can use this charger. I use it a lot for a variety of different batteries. Now I can plug this in, this little lead right here, and I can charge two batteries that came along with it. And it came along with these little 1S 600 milliamp batteries. And those charge in probably about uh, 20 to 30 minutes. But the cool thing is you're gonna get longer flight time with these than what you're gonna get with something like an Inductrix FPV or a Tiny Whoop. Tiny Whoop, you're getting around three minutes flight time. With these bad boys, you're getting around five minutes flight time. And it's really cool because it can handle a little bit of wind. So it's actually pretty sweet. Also in the pack, you also get some extra props. You can use these JJRC batteries as well. By the way, I wanted to mention that. I'll put a link for these down below so you guys can grab a few more. I ended up getting like 10 of these batteries so I could fly mine. Also get some extra rubber bands. You get two styles of rubber bands, by the way, the smaller ones and the larger ones. And you get extra motors. This is pretty sweet because the brushed motors go out from time to time and you can solder up a new set on there. So you have one of each clockwise and a counterclockwise in this kit. You also get a little prop remover tools, just a little piece of carbon fiber that goes right underneath the prop. You lift up on it because you don't really want to pinch these too much because this little stem right here can get damaged on that brushed motor and they're in, you can't repair them at all. So uh, be very careful taking your props on and off. So since I don't have to show you anything in clean flight, let's go outside and let's do a little flying with this little QX95.